L.A. Rush is the fourth and final installment in the Rush series of video games. It was released in North America for the PlayStation 2 and Xbox not compatible with Xbox 360 consoles on October 10, 2005 and on October 21 in Europe. The Windows version was released on November 4 in Europe. PlayStation Portable version was released on October 30, 2006 named Rush. Many details were revealed at E3 in May 2005. The game is free roaming with races similar to those in Need for Speed, Underground 2. The GPS map can have a point assigned to a certain location and then the point shows up on the radar during gameplay. The game features voice talent from Orlando Jones, Bill Bellamy, Andre 3000 and Twista. In addition to the console versions and Windows version it was to be available on Gizmondo. Topic. Plot. The player character is a street racer in the LA underground scene named Trikes, who has a mansion and car collection to back up his sizable reputation. Trikes's lavish lifestyle is put to the test, however, when a local race promoter named Liddell is set to put on a major series of races. Liddell is not particularly fond of Trikes and tries to tip the scales against him by using his connections to rob Trikes of all his rides whilst he was on vacation. It is up to Trikes to reacquire them through street racing and get payback on Liddell. Topic. PSP version PlayStation Portable Port was released on October 30, 2006 named Rush. The game has all new missions and two all new modes. Other new features include 50 new vehicles with at least 36 of them being licensed, 30 new cruise missions playable with another player using the PSP's Wi-Fi, upgrades for cars available from multiple top-line manufacturers and West Coast Customs and a new hip-hop and rock soundtrack. Twista and Lil' Kim are featured in the soundtrack. Topic. Modes The Battle race mode lets players go head to head with each other in a power up propelled race to the finish. This mode was also featured in the home version of Rush 2049. The Stunt Arena mode lets the player launch their car off ramps and fly through the air and performing different tricks. In order to keep up with points, the player must land their car safely on all four wheels. This feature was missing in LA Rush, but was in all other Home Rush games. You also can unlock new cars and customize them in West Coast Customs. Reacquire missions, race to earn respect, street credits, and clues to the whereabouts of your cars. Retribution missions, steal your enemies' prized rides and then chop them for revenge and extra cash. Retribution damage missions, trash an enemy's property. Topic. Reception Many reviewers have been critical of the game. One common criticism is that the option to customize the cars was poorly realized. Players cannot modify them themselves, instead, the car is automatically upgraded by the West Coast Customs crew. GamesRadar says, Roll your vehicle into the garage and they'll kit it out with what they feel like. L.A. Rush has also been criticized for not including every area of Los Angeles, for example, the San Fernando Valley was excluded. A criticism among fans is that the game is too realistic in comparison to the earlier Rush games which featured exaggerated fantasy locations and game physics. Not all reaction was negative. The realistic handling in the game was welcomed by some as being comparable to the handling in Juiced and Need for Speed, Underground 2. The game features many licensed cars such as the Nissan Sentra SER Spec V, the Subaru Impreza WRX STI, the Nissan Skyline GTR R34, the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 7, Nissan 350Z, muscle cars, which include the Chevrolet Camaro as seen on the cover, and SUVs such as the Cadillac Escalade and the Dodge Ram among other vehicles. Up to 30 licensed cars are unlockable in the game. It also contained 20 Midway concept cars. In total, 50 vehicles. Equals 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 awards.